I have something exciting to share with you. You're familiar with the phrase anagram, right? That's when you take a phrase or a word and you jumble up the letters to make another phrase or a word. Well, recently I've been intrigued by this idea of a Lego anagram. What if you were to take a Lego set and you were to use the pieces, just those pieces, no other pieces, in a different way to make something completely different. Just let your imagination go wild and come up with something cool and different and unique with just the pieces in that kit. You don't even need a big collection. You just need that one kit. This is a good solution if maybe you get a kit as a gift and you don't love the thing that the instructions make, but you have a really great collection of pieces that you can do something cool with. Or maybe you did make the kit. Maybe you loved the kit, but it's collecting dust and you're getting tired of it and you want to use those pieces to make something different. So the first ones I'm going to show you are in this line of Disney princess sets, a variety of very cool sets, but maybe you're not interested in that anymore and you want to make something different still with Disney princesses, but something totally different. Maybe something that really lets your imagination thrive. So um, the first one I'm going to show you is this Mulan set, perfectly cool set. Maybe you love it. Maybe you get tired of it and you're tired of playing with just the buildings. Um, so you want to make, for example, a, wait for it, spaceship. So this is um, the Milan spaceship. By the way, a nice feature of this method is that by its very nature, whatever you make is going to kind of reflect the same kind of design and visual language of the uh, of Mulan and that particular set. This particular spaceship has some cool features, which I will show you. Uh, so of course, um, in the position where a Star Wars astromech would typically be like R2-D2, that's where the horse goes because that's her co-pilot. Very important. Uh, also, of course, his saddle is there. Um, and in addition, of course, uh, Mulan can come out. And um, the neat thing is that, let's say she flies the spaceship to some exotic mountain location and she wants to have tea. So her um, command console actually undocks and lands by her and she can actually like set up a little tea party, right? Using two cups and uh, and she can host a tea party on this little portable table, which is kind of cool. Another nice feature of this is it's actually got um, this sort of deployable um, bar, almost like a gymnastics bar that can be used for exercise or sometimes We'll play with it like uh, she's rescuing, you know, stranded hikers or something, and she can come down and pick them up. The sound effects are very important, of course. And then uh, another nice feature is it's got this drone on the bottom that deploys. The, actually, the underbody of it is actually quite cool. So it's got this neat um, uh, drone concept, which I will now uh, remove that just kind of slides out. And that can be an autonomous drone, or it can also be used as like a high speed you know, personal adventure craft that she can snap onto and like fly. I like how oh, it's kind of organic and plant-like. Um, so just a, you know, just a cool idea of how you can use just the pieces in one kit to make something totally different and unique. I'm excited to see what you do with this same kit or your own kits. I'll show you a couple examples in other videos. Thanks.